Hey, this is Georgie. And Pete. And welcome to Studio Jargon Busters, where we talk about studio terminology in plain English. That's right, in every episode I try, and sometimes succeed, in explaining a studio or audio recording term that is commonly used, but not so commonly understood. And today we're talking about what? We're talking about compression, which I don't really understand, so take it away. Let's go. So, when you think of compression in the digital world, what comes to mind? Uh, Making things smaller. Yes, exactly. And in audio terms, it's kind of the same, except that it's a little bit different. Do I say the same and different at the same time? Yeah. So, if you think of compression, you're probably thinking of a zip file or a RAR or an ARG or some sort of compression of a file, yeah. So, you are making... I think of a RARG. A RARG. You're taking a large file, say you've got a 10 megabyte Excel spreadsheet and you turn it into a 5 megabyte... What are you doing the 10 megabyte spreadsheet? (laughs) I love my spreadsheets. Seriously, (laughs) spreadsheets are the best. Anyway, not relevant. So it's file compression is one thing. Audio compression is completely different. So audio compression is turning down the volume. So if you think of audio, you think of singing a song. So in a song, you might have a really loud part and then you have the quiet part. So if you've got like a rock ballad, you're like, I've got my arms around you and then you broke my heart. So the arms around you bit. Thanks, Jump On. Is not good. You know that John Bon Jovi's birthday is one day after mine? He's born on the 2nd of March and I'm on the 1st. Uh, yeah, anyway. Um, so if you have that loud bit and then the quiet bit, well, what compression does is it actually brings the loudness down. It compresses the peaks of your audio so that you have a nice low signal. So it doesn't actually compress the entire content. It just brings the loudness down. Down. Exactly. So it doesn't do anything to the file. It doesn't do anything to the content. All it's doing in a compressor is it's actually bring it down. And there's a whole bunch of settings that you can set in a compressor, which we won't have time to get into here today. But there's things like the ratio, the attack, the release, which if you want to know I all mean, about I mean, now those, you're going into terminology. Exactly. And if you want to know all about those, you can check out all the videos that I have on studiolifetoday.com. Sorry, I have to throw in a promo every now and then for all of my other videos. Um, Yes, I've hijacked this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So (laughs) compression brings the volume down. You might be thinking, well, how is that good? Because if you've got a loud bit and a soft bit, why would you want everything to come down to the softest level? You kind of have to. Yeah. Not the softest level, you want it to be in the middle. You want it to be in the middle, yeah, exactly. So compression does two things. So first of all, it brings the peaks down so that you've got a nice level signal. So if you think of a peak, you think of a waveform, you've got the top end here and you've got the bottom end. You want it to be there like that. But then you also have what's called makeup gain. So you're going to increase the volume. Gain equals volume. I don't know why we call it gain and volume. They're pretty much the same thing. So we're going to make up the volume. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our high level stuff. We're going to bring it down and then we're going to pull everything up so that we've got like a nice flat signal so that our quiet bits come up, our loud bits come down and everything sits at the right volume. That's really interesting, I never knew that. Yeah, so that that's compression and it's probably the most misunderstood audio recording term but it's actually quite, not simple, but it's more commonly used and you use compression on vocals in particular like the John Bond example I gave with my power ballad, use it on guitars because guitars can go loud and soft. Any sort of instrument or any sort of audio source that is going to be very loud in some parts, very soft in others, you want to compress it. Now, you can over compress. So over compressing means that you basically push everything so loud that it all sounds the same and you get no what we call uh, dynamic range which means that you do actually want, if you've got a nice ballad, you don't want the soft bits to be actually screaming out as loud as the really loud bits. That wouldn't be good. That would not be good. So you want to be able to hear them. You want to be able to bring it up high enough that you can actually hear what's being sung, sang. I never know which one to say, sung or sang. Sung, sang, sung. Yeah, but you don't want them to be overpowering and to be like ridiculously loud. So you don't want to over compress, but you want to bring, you want to use a compressor. And if you're in your digital audio workstation. If you're in your software, you can add a compressor using a plugin. And when you put that compressor plugin so on there. So much terminology. Yeah. If you put your plugin on your DAW, your digital audio workstation, Whew. then you've got your compressor and then you can actually level out that volume. So you can adjust the volume. You can make sure that you bring everything up to the right level. And then when you're doing your mix, 
of your song, then right, you can... I'll allow mix. You'll allow mix. You can mix your song. You know what mixing is? You know, bake a cake. I know how to bake. <laughs> In the kitchen. Bake, bake a, a cake. cake. <laughs> so we're going to... <laughs> so that that is what compression is all about. That is probably the most layperson term of compression that I've ever mentioned. And, and there's like 101 things that you can talk about compression. But that's the basics. Does, does that make sense? Do you have any it, questions? It actually... No, I actually think that that was a very good... Um, what's the word? Explanation? Yes. Amazing ex explanation? No. I wouldn't no, say just amazing. <laughs> just, 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 just... Adequate? Fine. Sufficient. Sufficient explanation of what compression is. Uh, so join us next time where we talk about something else. Something else, some other term that I'm going to throw at you randomly off the cuff. And if you have other terms that you would like for us to bust, oh, other yeah. jargon, then let us know in the comments down below. And of course, check out studiolivetoday.com for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. And until next time, see you later. Bye now. Thanks for watching Studio Jargon Busters. To find out when new episodes drop, hit the subscribe button. To watch another episode right now, click or tap on the icon on the left. And for more recording tips, tricks and tutorials, click or tap on the right.